We're gonna do something fucking crazy today. The weather in Montreal right now is minus 14 Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but in Celsius it's 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 really bad. And it's gonna go down to minus 18. This is gonna be the first time I'm experiencing an intense winter in Montreal. And we're actually gonna go out because I'm in the mood to shop today. We're also in another mini lockdown here in Montreal. So restaurants are closed, gyms are closed. Not that I go to the gym. Theaters are closed, bars are closed. The only thing you can do right now is shop. The government just wants you to shop. And if that's what the government wants, then I, I have to do it. I have to go shopping. Uh, puis c'est ça, ça avec une The fries for you. I don't know what the fork are for. We got a burger. Is your burger? Is my burger. We're so bad, but it's only guilty pleasure in life right now. Little fun fact, if you guys don't know, they call KFC PFK here. Poulet Free Kentucky. It's like we're living in an alternate dimension. So cute. You're going for the pink vibe now, or purple. Is that it's purple? purple. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Should I try? It, it looks a bit big. What size is it? This small. Dude, these are like my white pants, like this. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. It could be a vibe. Yeah. Is this cute or ugly? Too many uh, shapes and patterns and color going on for me. But look, it's like all pastels. It's very me. You never go for the style, so I'm surprised that you picked it. Well, the color palette was nice, but that's not usually my style. Oh, love it. <laughs> it doesn't feel like me. Yeah, it's cute. What do you mean it's cute because it doesn't feel like me? <laughs> this is the purple guy. It's ginormous. I'm trying to do this without ruining my hair. Ugh. Oh, so cute. Too big. I went to the women's section and found these. And this like blush v-neck sweater. And then I picked these out for Max. Oh, it's actually, that's kind of cute. Oh, I love this one. What do you think? It's oversized, but it's meant to be oversized, so it's really fitted on the shoulders. This one's cute as well, but it's a little similar to something you already have. I think I would have preferred it if it was like really pink. This blush is a little too subtle. I don't want to just look a little gay. I want to look really gay. Oh, so big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, way too big. it's way too big and I don't like the material, it's itch, oh, okay. it's itchy. I tried. You know, with our outfits matching like this, we look like a really annoying gay couple. <laughs> Here's my love letter and trust it to the weather. <laughs> the texture is so cool. But I look like a grandpa wearing that. You look like an old timer. Last stop of the day, Sandor Reese. And then we're done for shopping for for the a while. No. For the week. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Max, how much do you love shopping? I hate shopping. You love it. I know you love shopping. I hope it's the last time for the month. This is a medium. Oh, that looks good. That's literally perfect. Uh, this is not my color choice, but this I'm gonna be adventurous choice. and try it for you. We got lost in our own city. Where are we? Look, there's a magical three over there. Make a wish. I wish we're together forever. So dark and dreary, and it's only 5 p.m. It gets so dark quickly. You know, around this time is like the most depressing part of winter. When it gets dark at 4:30. That's why we're trying to pick ourselves up with retail therapy. It works. 
what you want with it You can send it back Or keep it around Maybe you're wrong Maybe it's been too long But I heard from someone Let's start with Uniqlo, always. I don't know why I keep going there. I need to stop, like, checking the apps because whenever these stores have apps and makes it a little too accessible for me to shop, I'm just on it 24 seven. Don't punch me in the face. It's another Uniqlo and JW Anderson collab, but how cute is this? It's Peter Rabbit t-shirt. I rarely ever buy t-shirts, so when I saw this, I, I needed it. I wanna wear this in the summer with my testicle bag and short shorts and a pair of really fun sneakers but you know what will end up happening i just know for a fact i'll just probably end up wearing it as a pajama i don't know if i exude confidence to you but I, i'm actually not a very confident person so i don't know if i have the balls big enough to wear this i'll wear it online where you know thousands of people are gonna see it but i won't i won't wear it in the streets no not not at my local coffee shop next thing i got <laughs> Another one of the JW Anderson collab. This is gonna be the last one, trust me. It's a pajama set. I haven't had a pajama set since I was probably about 12 years old and it's probably like the comfiest sleep I've had was when I was 12. Maybe if I put on another pair of pajama, I'll have a really good sleep. All my insomnia, all my sleeping problems will be gone. So I say, you know what, try it out. What's the harm? and I get to look cute doing it. Next thing I got was from Koss. Shopping at Koss is so frustrating because they have so many cute things for men's, well, and women's, but whenever I dive through the men's section, they don't always have all their sizes coming extra small, so most of their sizes are small and they're way too big on me. I ended up just getting something from the women's section, which is fine, and it's super cute. It's baby blue. Woo. Some sweaters for women are cut really strange and like men can't wear it. I mean, men can wear it. Yeah, no, fuck it, men can wear it. But it's just cut differently. Like this, this sweater I'm pretty sure was made for women's because it has like that bat wing, that bat wing kind of cut. But you know, it's like baggy on the sleeve area like here. Who came up with that? Like, let's just make this hole big and then this hole small and look how short it is. Also found out that I'm a size small in women's. And the last piece that I got is from All Saints. I love when they wrap it nicely like that. I feel so fancy. Every single time a retail employee like folds their clothes nicely and put wrapping paper on it, I instantly get Imposter syndrome, like I don't deserve that. I don't deserve it. But you know what? Maybe I do deserve paper in my life. It's this black sweater and it says All Saints, but like jumbled up. You probably can't even tell that it says All Saints. I can't even tell that it says All Saints. Actually, does it say All Saints? What does it say? If you do like one of those scientific researches, Probably around like 5 out of 10 people can read All Saints. I'm not one of those people. The thing that got me though with this sweater was this X's over here. When I saw that, I was like, it's mine. I need it. That was what sold it for me. I've never seen a sweater with stitching like that and I thought, just thought that was so cute and interesting. And I want people to think that I'm cute and interesting, so. It reminds me of TXT's Loser, Loser Lover. It reminds me of that vibe and I just want to wear it with these pants or like a uh, slim fit black jeans would be cute. I should model it for you but at the same time I want there to be like an element of surprise at some point when I do wear it. Cause like if I keep showing you guys everything that I wear and then putting it on then it's not gonna be like oh, oh my god that looks so cute on you. It's gonna be like oh yeah I've seen it. I've seen it on you before it's not nothing interesting. So I gotta keep it interesting. The last thing we bought was also from All Saints, not for me, it was a purchase for Max. And it's this leather biker jacket. 
he's always wanted one. All Saints makes the best biker jackets. The leather is so buttery and smooth that it's just so worth it. It's such an investment piece, I feel like. I'm the kind of friend that if you shop with me, I will push you to buy things. Because in my head, I'm like, if you regret it, just return it. I enabled him so he would enable me and he did because look at how much stuff I got. But anyway, the biker jacket looks so good on him. The cut is very slimming and Max likes to wear it with a white t-shirt and black pants. He wore it to Costco the other day. Was it way too cold for it? Absolutely, but he felt good doing it. So let him be. Okay, so that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm gonna see you guys next week. Bye-bye.